Have you ever walked out of an appointment for tinnitus with an ENT doctor thinking, wait, that's it? If you've been told there's nothing they can do, or worse, that you just have to go home and live with it, you're not alone. It's one of the most common things we hear from patients at Sound Relief. And the truth is, while ENTs are incredibly skilled doctors, 99% of them don't have tinnitus in their specialty, and that's okay. So let's explore why ENTs often miss the mark when it comes to tinnitus and what kind of support you actually need. There's an old joke in our field. ENTs are specially trained in either the ear, nose, or throat, but just usually not all three. And when it comes to tinnitus, those ENTs who are focused on just the ear or otologists are looking specifically for physical abnormalities to the three parts of the ear, not how the brain might be reacting to subtle changes in hearing perception. That's why if you have tinnitus and there is nothing physically or structurally wrong with your ears, ENTs often send you home with no solutions or advice. There just isn't a prescription or a surgery that can fix most cases of tinnitus. Tinnitus is a neurological perception of sound that is not externally produced. It can stem from blockage or changes to sound caused by earwax, hearing loss, stress, noise exposure, head or neck trauma, jaw dysfunction like TMJ, or even as a side effect from certain medications. ENTs are fantastic at identifying medically and surgically correctable issues like blockages, infections, growths, perforations, mechanical breakdowns, or total deafness, but tinnitus rarely shows up that neatly. In other words, over 80% of cases of tinnitus do not have outer or middle ear involvement. Instead, most people with tinnitus have changes to the cochlea, or inner ear, that leads to disruption in the auditory parts of the brain. ENTs can't fix this, so they may say, there's nothing I can do to help you. That does not mean there's nothing that can be done to help. Tinnitus is highly individualized since no two brains are the same. What makes it worse? What makes it better? What triggered it in the first place? These answers are typically different for everyone. And because there's no single test or one size fits all cure for tinnitus, ENTs don't always know what to recommend for it since they are unable to surgically or pharmaceutically treat tinnitus. Instead, audiologists with additional training in tinnitus should be consulted. A patient may be referred to an ENT when their testing reveals an underlying medical concern. Most audiologists also know which ENTs in their area specialize in otology and neurootology for an even more specific diagnosis and referral when needed. Not only does coming to an audiologist first speed up the process of diagnosing tinnitus, but it also cuts down on costs, since an audiologist visit is typically less than that of an ENT office visit. ENTs complete rigorous training, but tinnitus is usually one lecture of their entire curriculum. Even most audiologists receive limited training about tinnitus in their doctoral programs. Those of us who have pursued additional extensive training in tinnitus receive much more focused learning in areas such as tinnitus retraining therapy, cognitive behavioral therapy, progressive tinnitus management, counseling and education, sound therapy options, neurological factors, and emotional support tools. That's why you should seek an audiologist who has sought out this additional training, as they are better equipped to help people with tinnitus find a management strategy that works best for them. Many ENTs mistakenly think that tinnitus treatment is the same thing as masking. Masking, however, is a band-aid approach that covers up the tinnitus with a louder sound and does not result in long-term relief. Most ENTs haven't kept up with advancements in sound therapy, habituation techniques, or the use of combination instruments that serve as sound therapy and amplification in one. What is often misunderstood is that tinnitus retraining therapy is not about covering up the tinnitus with another louder sound. It's about rewiring your brain's reaction to tinnitus so that the sound no longer triggers a response. To do that, sound therapy must be soothing and calming, not an obnoxious white noise that only further irritates the person listening to it. If there's no surgical fix or prescription to write, most ENTs will tell you that you just have to live with it. 
That's not their fault. It's just how they're trained, but that's simply not true. Just like we manage diabetes and treat cancer, tinnitus relief is possible for many patients who will experience long-lasting tinnitus remission when they work with a trained provider. Here's the kicker. Most ENTs don't refer to tinnitus specialists, not because they don't care, but because they may not know what's available. At Sound Relief, we often see patients stuck in a cycle of appointments with no answers, no plan, and no relief until they finally find us. As research advances and awareness grows, some ENTs are beginning to acknowledge the benefits of referring to tinnitus-focused audiologists. That's a good thing, but until that becomes the norm, it's up to you to seek out professionals who understand the best approach, which typically includes tinnitus retraining therapy, sound therapy, emotional support, principles of cognitive behavioral therapy, and a treatment plan built just for you. This isn't a knock on ENTs. They play an essential role in ear, nose, and throat health, and we have partnerships with ENTs who we refer to all the time for medical management of symptoms when needed. But when it comes to tinnitus, you need a provider who sees the whole picture, not just the anatomy involved. If you've been told to just live with it, please know, you don't have to. At Sound Relief Tinnitus and Hearing Center, we've helped thousands of people find real lasting relief from tinnitus. We actually listen so that we can fully understand your specific situation and guide you toward a solution that works. So let's change the story from frustration to progress from helplessness to hope. Schedule a tinnitus evaluation with Sound Relief today. Thank you.